nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take. Hi, this is Rudy Croswell. Welcome back to Karate in the USA. Today we're going to talk to John Sells, author of the book Secrets of Karate, and he's going to share with us a really interesting piece of information about a very mysterious individual in the history of karate by the name of Aragaki. What do you have in your uh, in your hat this time, John? <laughs> this one's a real secret. Uh, we're, we're a secret person, a kind of mysterious individual known to history as Atakaki. I think we've all read in our martial arts histories uh, about people named Atakaki. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's an Atakaki is someone that one of our most famous teachers learned from a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, there were a lot of Atakakis. I mean, it was not an uncommon name, or it's still not an uncommon name to Okinawan people. But one particular man, Arakaki Kamade Unchu, who lived, oh, from about 1840 to 1918, was an influential person, but he didn't found a style as such, and so his legacy wasn't handed down in total. But he did hand down to several different people some of the most advanced training drills that we know of in karate, mm -hmm. a kata called Unsu, which is very mm -hmm. intricate. Another kata called Sochin, which is a little different than all the rest, even though it's not very long. And another kata called Niseishi, of which there are really two versions that have been handed down, but usually people only practice one of them. Mm -hmm. He also was known as the ace, so to speak, of the long staff, the bow. He made up a couple of kata, one called Arakaki no Kon, which is, should be a popular kata to Shitoryu stylists, mm -hmm. like ourselves, and the Seisoko no Kon, which is a longer form and somewhat intricate. He also passed down to a style called Chitoryu through a man named Chitose, mm -hmm. the Arakaki version of a very old form known as Seisan, which we all do in one form or another. So Arakaki uh, was one of those people who influenced history, though he didn't uh, leave his face on it. Mm. So it sounds like uh, he had a lot of information, here, but he really kind of uh, didn't establish himself as, a, as an entity in and of itself, but rather uh, touched other That's peoples right. or other groups. That's right. And, and uh, you know, here's a little something, here's a little something for you, a little something for That's you. That's right. And personal practice, perhaps, and, and never really developed an organization underneath him and as far as a bunch of That's students. That's right, or a large day. school. Right. He didn't have that but people certainly knew who he was, mm. and they certainly sought him out. Though not everyone did. There were people who said, well, we have our own style over here in Shuri Town. Mm. We don't need to go over and learn under Atakaki over there in Naha. And in Naha, there was a very strong school that was independent of Atakaki. Mm. But Atakaki himself contributed to that aura because he was the kind of person who wanted to stay to himself mm. and was quite secretive. So Atakaki, uh, all of our karate has been influenced by Atakaki, mm. our advanced karate especially but not very many people know who he was. Many think that Arakaki is this young guy that we've heard of who died in the late 1920s, who was a very famous mm -hmm. technician and fighter who taught a lot of people who are still alive today. Mm -hmm. But no, different man altogether. Different this man. is the Arakaki of karate technique. Mm. Well, I think that's something that uh, we should key in on is that sometimes these names are common um, in such that uh, you know people have a, the same name or the similar mm -hmm. name, and, and we do have to be careful in our studies to make sure that we're actually zeroing in on the on the same guy. You know? It's important. I mean, it just gives us a sense of the the truth in our history. Yeah, really, and uh, uh, because you can have somebody with the same name living in totally different time periods or or in the same time periods, That's right. and, and you, so you do really need to um, identify which Arakaki or which uh, Takeuchi or whoever. Whoever it yeah. was. <laughs> <laughs> so he's very important, and he introduced not only his forms, but something uh, that was part of all of this, the white crane style of Fuki and Kung Fu. Mm. Okay, great. Well, we'll have to talk about that white crane style uh, in another time then. Very good. <laughs>